What's up guys and welcome back to another Rocket League Sideswipe tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you the stall reset. This is definitely on the more advanced side of mechanics, but with practice I'm sure you can get it. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. I'm going to break this tutorial up into two parts, the actual stall and the setup. First, let's learn how to do the stall. What you want to do is you want to press jump and arrow at the same time so that your wheels will be facing up towards the ceiling, which will later be up towards the ball. If you arrow too early, then you will jump back down to the ground. And if you arrow too late, you won't get the reset off of the ball. So you need to press them at the exact same time. Also, make note, when you jump, you have to be letting go of your joystick. If you are it facing in any direction, you will accidentally dodge, which is not what you want. Now for the setup. You want to drive into the ball, go up the wall, and then air roll out of the wall so that the hood of your vehicle is underneath the ball. This will set you up to be able to do the actual stall reset. And then now, let's put two and two together and do the actual reset. So now I'm going to take the ball up the wall, arrow out from the wall, get the hood of my vehicle underneath it, and then stall towards the ball. Now when you do this, you want to be a little behind the ball, a little about here, and then reset into the ball to stall like that. And then you can push it forward. You can also do it straight underneath the ball, but it is harder to do that. That was how to do the stall reset. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe because it means so much to me. Every one of you that has already subscribed. Thank you guys so much. And without further ado, have a great day. Live life to the fullest and peace.